Hello YouTube. It is now 10.58 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on November 1st, 2022. And here is Adobe Illustrator 2023. Now I wanted to show you some of the menus. This is the screen. When you first open it, if you click on Learn over here in the left side, this is the screen you will see. And on the top, you have File um, and the other menus. But when you click on a menu, I want to point out first that anything that's grayed out would mean that options not available on the screen that you're that you're on in other words on this particular screen there's there isn't any choice you won't be able to save as a template or save as a copy or anything like that because you don't have anything open in order to save it so it's pretty logical the way it's set up so that's why these things are grayed out <coughs> and then go to edit there's nothing to edit because nothing's open yet so all of these options are grayed out and let's see you can set up presets color settings keyboard shortcuts my settings export settings import settings preferences lots of stuff here And then we will check those out in a little while. And then objective or object rather. All of this. You know, I think I want to go through now that I'm looking at this. <clears throat> how about if we go through all the options that are available before you open any file? Let's go back to file. Okay, so we got new new from template open open recent files those make sense okay everybody i believe would know what those mean search adobe stock so they have the adobe stock link in the menu and then they have export now what are you going to export export there's nothing to export so I don't know why that's there nothing's open so that should be grayed out the export selections are grayed out but the export itself is not that's kind of strange I think that's a little a flaw in the development <clears throat> scripts all right image tracing save doc as PDF save docs as SVG and other script so let's go image tracing with this right choose a folder no oh, choose that how's that <clears throat> And then select the destination. Okay, which is that? Batch process complete. Hmm. <laughs> I have to go find out what it did. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. And. Well, we'll get that back to that later. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to check on it. So, so we don't have a lot of quiet nothing going on while we're recording. I'm not going to edit this. I'm just going to upload it. So, save docs as PDF. There are no documents open. So that should not be there this should not be there see these alerts mean that 
the developer should have those grayed out. Other script? I don't know what that is, so... Nothing. I don't have any other scripts right now. So I want you to open scripts. <coughs> and then exit. So let's go to edit. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, spelling. Auto spell check. Auto spell check what? So there's nothing to auto spell check, so I don't know why that's there. Oh, oh, turn it on. No, I'm not going to turn it on. <laughs> A check means turn it on. When you see these little arrows, that means that there is a side menu. The arrow always points to a menu, whether it's pointing downwards or sideways or up. Whichever way it's pointing, it's pointing the pointed area is where the menu is going to come out. Okay, edit colors. Okay, so that's going to be a menu. Then a menu is right here, recolor with preset. But none of these are on, so this should be great as well, but it's not. Boy, I'm finding all kinds of developer problems here. Transparency, flattener, presets. <coughs> High res, medium, low for complex art. Import. Import presets from a file. I have not worked with these. That'd be interesting. Okay. Where am I? Ah! Where am I? Oh. Here. Edit. Okay. Print presets. Alright. So, you can do this. The plus sign always says you can add something. Look at that. Print preset 1. <clears throat> PDF. Print. Printing. Okay, we'll just do that. Okay, printer, general, so you can choose any of these. Custom, fit to page. I'll choose print to page. Visible and printable layers to auto-rotate. Pretty neat. And... Lots of other options that you can choose and play with. Anything that's grayed out. You will not, it will not be available. Look at that, all kinds of neat stuff. So. We will say yes. I know there was a summary button there. Okay, so we're just going to say okay. Let's go back to edit again. And then we got Adobe PDF presets. So you can do a lot of configuration. And the best thing nowadays, because you have this information available, is you can, <clears throat> excuse me, you can study each and every one of these and be extremely proficient in all of this. These, oh, they left a description. Look at this. Hmm, okay. Standard. All right. 
optimize for fast web view. Compression marks and bleeds. Compression means what that means is um, you might be thinking what's a zip file, what's compression. So in let's say you're gonna compress a file that has all of this on it. Well all this extra space here those are characters. They're space characters. So to compress it, they can take all those characters out and just leave the actual text in black box and, uh, you know, all of these characters. <clears throat> but the other characters, they can just compress those out and then you uncompress. That'll bring all the characters back on the screen in order to view the uncompressed zip file. <clears throat> like the, um, you know, the file that's been unzipped. And that's what it's doing. When it's unzipped, it's putting the characters back on the screen so that you can view it with, you know, nothing all the way across here and stuff like that. Yep. So that's what compression and zip means. <clears throat> Marks and bleeds. Pardon my voice, sorry about that. All printers marks. Hmm. Output. And advance. All right. Oh, summary. Okay, in summary, they have all of these. You can go through each one. You can go, click on each one of these to read and learn more about all of them. Yep. So, there you go. Alright, so let's go to the next one. Oops. Uh-oh. Say okay. Let's go to the next one. Or no, wait a minute. Edit. Oh, okay. That was... I'm not sure what that was. I think that was the other Adobe settings. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Pro perspective grid presets. Hmm. Two point perspectives. Okay. We'll leave it alone for now. <laughs> <clears throat> and then, and these are areas that everybody can, you know, take a look at. North American General Purpose 2. Monitor color. North America Web Internet. Sorry, so many extra things to observe, to take a look at here. Lots and lots of settings you can learn more about. Whoops. There we go. I'm just scanning through here. Keyboard shortcuts. Now this one, you can add more. Menu commands. <laughs> All right. Okay, what else? Whoop. 
keyboard shortcuts my settings export settings uh, it's sending the settings in a menu oh sending it out saving them okay and then import settings preferences there's a lot in here general so many choices you could spend I mean a really long time learning everything about one program just by clicking around like this so there are many settings here you can analyze take a look at I'm just doing an overview there we go so let's see what do we know object align what is there there's nothing to align nope I don't know why it says that there's another developer flaw slice nope okay shape So, there you go. That's some of the menus. And that's a good 17 minutes to go through some of the menus. So, we'll be back and do some more. I'm going to get into one of these. And um, create a video on these. There are lots and lots and lots of things to learn. This is such a large program. All right. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.